After the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, answering to the journalist's questions, Botas said that he wishes to have the contract sorted soon. He added that having the contract sorted quickly would help him in concentrating on his on-track performance. But is Mercedes really planning to renew Botas? Let's face it, Valtteri Bottas has had a terrible 2021 so far. Partly due to his faults and partly due to the things out of his control. But his current performance does not give his overall career stats any justice. The current Mercedes driver and teammate of world champion Lewis Hamilton, Valtteri Bottas has been a Mercedes driver since 2017 when he replaced the retired world champion Nico Rosberg. As a Mercedes Academy driver, he showed tremendous promise in the junior classes and also during his time at Williams. In his career spanning more than 8 years, he has scored 1559 points, 9 wins, 17 poles and 59 podiums from 162 race starts. The stats speaks for itself. Regardless of how good the car is, it is not an easy task to score that many points or win that many races. For almost half a decade, we have seen Bottas alongside Hamilton on the podium race after race. And that is clearly his job description. Toto once called Bottas a perfect wingman for Lewis. And Bottas responded to it by saying that being called a wingman hurts. As he strives for winning the world championship year after year, it is clear that the team expects him to finish the race, end up in podium and collect points. Their expectation from him does not seem to be to win the drivers championship. But Bottas has been struggling to do just that in 2021. As Bottas finished 12th in Baku, Red Bull overtook Mercedes in the constructors championship. These are valuable points against the rivals who are actually getting better every race. Stepping into Toto Wolff's shoes, it is clear that Toto needs someone who can consistently put themselves on the podium. For them, consistency matters as much as the fighting spirit. And consistency is the part that has been lacking for Bottas in the last season and this season so far. And this becomes more and more necessary when you have a rival breathing down your neck. When it comes to Mercedes driver lineup for next year, it is almost certain now that Lewis will resign for 2022. And there is tremendous competition for the second seat. The option that seems obvious is Russell, but looking at the rest of the grid, they do have quite a mix of experienced as well as budding talent. any of whom would be eager to join Mercedes. Russell has been consistent in his performance with Williams in the last two and a half years. And despite his bad luck in Sakhir Grand Prix last year and his behavior after crashing into Bottas in Imola, he is still considered as one of the best drivers of his generation, capable of winning not one but multiple world championships if given the right car. A couple of factors to consider would be number 1 would Russell settle in well into the Bottas role Russell might not be the perfect wingman who would listen to team orders and who would happily stand on the second step of the podium without putting serious fight race after race against Hamilton Number 2 Hamilton might not want to have another rivalry like the 2016 with Rosberg and Mercedes might not want such a situation where the drivers put their interests first and it leads to team losing valuable points number 3 
how would the team look a couple of years from now when Hamilton retires? The logical progression would be one more year with the same lineup for Mercedes and then after Lewis, Russell will team up with Bottas for the near future. But Bottas' performances being not up to par so far this year, that might not look likely. That means if Mercedes fills one of their seats this year, they might have to fill the other seat one year down the line. Number 4 In the next few races, if Bottas consistently splits Lewis and Max, it would be difficult for Mercedes to replace him with someone else. On the other hand, if Russell starts performing very poorly, being overtaken even by Mazepin race after race, Mercedes cannot justify hiring him over Bottas next year. At the end of the day, Bottas still has some time to prove himself. But that door is closing fast. And with the form Mercedes is in currently, luck also plays a huge factor on whether Bottas will be able to perform well in the next few races. As I said earlier in the video, Bottas is a very very good driver. But he has always been overshadowed by a beast of a teammate. Only the best 20 drivers in the world get to drive a Formula 1 car. And only the best of these 20 drivers should drive in the best cars. And when all this talent is put together, it's often the smallest differences that decide who ends up where. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel if you like to watch similar content and stay tuned to I am Formula for everything Formula 1. Until next time, take care and stay safe.